At this point, there is little question that Valve's handheld gaming PC, the Steam Deck, is really, really quite good. Although, there is one thing that, for me, kind of holds it back a little bit, and that is the selection of games. And don't get me wrong, there are a ton of games, okay? You can simply go to the Steam Store on your Steam Deck, and like I said, there are going to be, once it loads, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games that are going to work in, you know, varying degrees of success there, but they're going to all typically work really, really well. There's a lot of games that I've played on my Steam Steam Deck that have really surprised me uh, with how well they've actually worked, but there is still, you know, a bit of a gap there. There are some games that I wish I could play on my Steam Deck that I can't, namely uh, Microsoft games, Xbox games, games that are on the Xbox Game Pass service. Well, there is actually a way to do this, and while you're not playing them actually like natively on the hardware, you're actually just going to be streaming them to the Steam Deck. It actually works quite well. And in this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to set up Game Pass streaming on your Valve Steam Deck. And then we'll take a look very quickly at how well it actually does work. So for this next part of my magic trick, I'm going to be utilizing my JSOX dock and I'm going to plug my Steam Deck into this, which is then going to run HDMI cable into a capture card, which I can then uh, just directly record from on my computer so you guys can see very, very clearly what's going on. Okay, and that is where we find ourselves now. And I have a mouse and keyboard attached to this to make this much, much easier as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go down here to your Steam menu, and we're going to click on Power and we're going to boot into desktop mode. It's gonna be much, much easier. Actually, some of this stuff is directly necessary uh, to be done in desktop mode. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is we're gonna to go to the Discover application, and we're gonna search for Microsoft Edge. I believe Edge is uh, close enough to get you where you're going. Maybe I'm wrong. I was wrong. Microsoft Edge is what you need to do, and then uh, just click on the Install button over here. You can see mine is already installed. So it is actually functioning already for me, but you would need to just uh, install that now. Now from here, you'll see your little Steam icon down here. Simply right click on that and just click on library is fine and you'll be opened up to this page. We now need to add Steam to, I'm sorry, we need to add Microsoft Edge <laughs> to our Steam library. So let's click on games and let's click on add a non-Steam game to the library. And we're gonna tick the box here for Microsoft Edge edge and then add selected program so back on our uh, desktop here hit your start button and search for console with a k and then from here we're going to just simply paste in our next command which is basically going to give microsoft edge the ability to use our controls the actual controls on the steam deck itself type in exit and that will close console at that point we're going to open steam back up again we're going to look for microsoft edge now in our library right click it and click on properties now we're looking for down here the launch options this next part is a little bit more complicated because you can see the launch options down here I already have a bunch of stuff in it so just click on that and scroll over and we're looking for the very end okay so where you have the bunch of at symbols and then you and a bunch of at symbols hit space, and then paste in the next command. Up here where it says Microsoft Edge, you can change this to Game Pass Streaming. Now this next part is optional. There's gonna be a link in the description to download some artwork. And this is just like I said, something that's optional, but it, it's nice when you get it set up. So once you've downloaded that, you can click on your file manager and you'll be able to see it there. Let's right click on that and extract it. Here is fine. And you should see this folder here with cloud gaming. So let's go back over here. Let's click on our shortcut. And we should be able now to navigate to that folder and select it. If you don't know where you're going, if you click here, you'll see home deck downloads. That's kind of where you're meant to be going. Are you able to actually just copy and paste this in? Let's find out. No? Okay, whatever. Home deck downloads Xbox cloud gaming. And down here, we're gonna change this to all files. I believe that's necessary. And we're looking for, I believe, it's going to be the more rectangular shaped one, or maybe it's the square one, Xbox Cloud Gaming Icon. So we're gonna make it that, and that now is uh, working just fine. You can actually close this down now that that's taken care of. And we can close this. If you now click on what now says Game Pass Streaming here, 
you should be able to right click back here, set custom background. And again, we're going to have to go up, up, up. And now we're looking for downloads. Xbox Cloud Gaming. Set this to all files. And this should be the banner. And then if you click on library again, you'll see here is one more. You can right click, go to manage, set custom artwork. And uh, we're actually already in the correct folder. We just need to change this to all files. And it's the capsule. So now we have artwork on all this stuff. Everything's looking very pretty. Okay, so now back on library again, right click on Game Pass Streaming and go to Controller Layout. You should get this pop up here. You should be able to just click here and then select Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad. Apparently this is the one that they want you to be using. Click on that and you should be all good. All right, so everything should be done now. So let's close out of everything and let's click on Return to Gaming Mode and see if the fruit of our labors has matured. Okay, so here we are. Uh, should not be in our recent games yet because it's not been played yet. So let's actually go down to uh, our Steam menu here and let's just go into our library and you're going to see that it's under non-Steam, right? So it's not actually going to be in anything else. Make sure you're looking for it under non-Steam. Let's click on this and let's click on play and it should basically just launch your browser with uh, no bars of any sort so that it just looks um, like this. And you should be able to, again, you know, make sure you have a mouse and keyboard plugged in for the signing in part because you're going to need that. It's going to suck to type on this thing. I guess you can do it, but it's not going to be fun. And voila, there you are. So what I'm going to do now is switch to the overhead camera so you can see this being played on the deck. All right, here we go. So, yeah, the controls work just fine. You can actually scroll through the games exactly as you would expect. Let's jump into a game that's going to be probably tough, something like Grounded, because it's a first-person game, and that kind of stuff tends to struggle the most on a streaming setup when you're looking around and so forth. That, that tends to be, like, the hardest thing for it to do. So if it does this, like, passably well, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. So you can see here, launching with Cloud Gaming, and this, you know, looks like a pretty normal situation. Xbox logo, there it is. You can see this is connected and is loading in, you know, relatively quickly. Press any button, logging in. And of course, if you've done this already, if you've played this streaming from someplace else, you will sync your data. We're going to not have accessibility options. Arachnophobia is uh, not something I have, so we're fine. Uh, single player, let's click on continue. We're loading saves. Uh, let's just use... That one, I guess. Let's turn down the volume a little bit because it's probably going to be a little bit distracting. Okay, here we go. So I am moving around. And honestly, guys, there is a little bit of latency, right? It's not perfect. But that is actually, like, shockingly close. And I, I could absolutely play this. In terms of, like, how does it look? I mean, there is a little bit of a degradation in the visual quality versus playing something... Uh, more natively on the device, but I think overall it looks fine. It looks it looks okay. I'm actually really impressed with this latency. It is really really nominal. And a cool thing here, like your your Steam button, all this stuff is going to still work. You can still go in and set performance. Like for instance, you know this is not actually being played on the game on this the hardware itself. So you could go in here and do a per game profile. Set your uh, your TDP like really low because it doesn't need to be high because nothing's happening. It's just streaming. And then of course you can exit game just like that, and it should just basically like it's it's closing your web browser. So there you go, guys. Xbox Game Pass streaming on the Steam Deck. It is very impressive, and it actually has recently been improved. That latency is. I, I'm gonna have to tell you, it's really really hard to notice unless you're really looking for it. At least on my network. That felt pretty close to something being natively ran on this hardware. Games like Sea of Thieves, like Tunic, now uh, fully available on your Steam Deck. Of course, Xbox Game Pass does require a subscription uh, to have. It is a subscription service. So I will link to that as well for a place to sign up for that if you uh, should like to take advantage of that. Guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.